Prince Harry and Meghan Markle quickly got to know each other after their unforgettable first date and whirlwind romance. After a friend set him up, the couple set about finding out what they could about each other, and for Harry, that meant catching up with Meghan's acting career. When they met in 2016, the Duchess of Sussex was currently in the lead role playing paralegal Rachel Zane on the hit TV show Suits. Naturally, Harry wanted to see it in action, and even thought about visiting the set of the series while visiting his then-girlfriend on a trip to Toronto, where the show was filmed. Welcome to Royal Experts, if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any news about the British royal family. But after watching some very specific scenes in the show online, he abandoned the idea and admitted watching the clips was a mistake. Harry admitted in his memoir Spear, saying, I made the mistake of googling and watching some of her love scenes online. I watched her and one of her colleagues attacking each other in some sort of office or conference room. I will be receiving electroshock therapy to get those images out of my head. I didn't need to see such things live. Rachel's love interest for Meghan's character on the show was Mike Ross, played by Patrick J. Adams. In the season finale of the second series of Suits, Rachel gives in to her feelings for Mike and the pair end up having a steamy tryst in a filing room. Meghan previously spoke about filming sex scenes with Patrick in 2017. The two revealed that one of the strangest moments in the show for her was the scene in which her character Rachel finally gives in to her attraction to Mike. When asked what she thought was her standout embarrassing scene on the show, Megan revealed that it was the now iconic filing room that stood out in her mind. Asked first, Patrick said, the sex in the file room was weird. Yeah, it was a little weird. Megan said, of course it was strange. Meanwhile, last month, Suits creator Aaron Korsh revealed details from the set of the series, including how the royal family refused to let Megan say the word poppycock on set, which he found disturbing. The creator noted that Harry also wrote about the banned word in his memoir Spare, which was released in January of this year. Aaron said the choice to add the word had a special connection to his family, and he was excited to see it on screen. My wife's family, when they have a topic to discuss that might be sensitive, they use the word poppycock, he told The Hollywood Reporter. The royal family did not want her to say that word. He explained that he understood why he did not want the actress to say the word on the show, but he was disappointed with the decision. Aaron added, they didn't want to put poppycock in her mouth. I suppose they didn't want people chopping things together when she said CK. So, we had to change it to bulls instead of poppycock and I didn't like it because I told my in-laws he was going to be on the show. The Suits creator said there may have been one or two other instances during filming where the royal family thought about what Meghan's character might say or do, but he couldn't remember. However, it was clarified that it was not the Duchess of Sussex who submitted the request to change the word. Thanks for watching until the end.